What's up everybody, Trip here, and I want to talk with you guys a little bit about my Patreon page. Now I'm going to tell you, I don't really enjoy making this video, but here goes. So if you enjoy my videos, if you want to help support Sailing and Such, if you maybe want to be a little bit a part of Sailing and Such, or even a big part, then Patreon is the place to do it. Some of the perks are things like early access to videos, early registration for subscriber trips, access to the Patreon only feed with insider info about what's going on at Sailing and Such and the future of Sailing and Such. You can have some input about the channel's future direction. Maybe you'd like a shout out in a video, or maybe you'd like a direct chat link with me all the time, or maybe you'd like me to make you your own custom video. Wouldn't that be cool? If some of those things interest you, then I'd like you to consider becoming part of the Patreon family. Well, there's some other perks too and some more that I have in the works. Perks in the works that are going to be awesome. What is Patreon? Well, it's an amazing platform that allows you to support your favorite content creators on a monthly basis. I actually support someone myself, Tim Smoyer, over at Video Creators. It's a YouTube channel. He teaches people how to do better on YouTube. I've learned a lot from him over the years and I've gained a lot of value from his channel. I felt like supporting him to help him reach his goals. Now, you can start and stop your support at any time. You can put a monthly cap on how much you support. If you have any questions or try to figure something out on Patreon, shoot me an email and we'll figure it out. Let's look at some numbers. Now, what I'm doing, I'd like to ask for a dollar a month. A dollar a month. $12 a year. That's not much. Compare that to another subscription like a magazine subscription or a Netflix subscription. That's not very much. 12 bucks a year? I don't think that's too much to ask. I currently have over 28,000 subscribers. That's a lot. That's awesome. Thank you for being a subscriber. If only 5% of my subscribers were supporting at a dollar per month, that's $1,400 a month. My goodness, at the awesomeness that I could do with $1,400 a month and a camera and me and whatever else. Oh, it would be incredible. But then imagine, what if a few people signed up for $2 or $5 or even $10 a month? And I, we currently have some patrons over there, some awesome people over there who are doing just that. And oh my goodness, what I could see in the future would just be incredible. I'm telling you. People, you would see a sailing and such like you couldn't even imagine. Trust me. Hey, don't you make money from like ads and stickers and shirts and stuff? Yes, I do, but I'm here to tell you it's not a whole lot. I uploaded my first video in late 2008 and I had my first day of making money in late 2011. And on that first day, I made a whopping 20 cents. Now things have gotten a little better since then, but it's still, it's still, I'm not getting rich folks, I promise you that. My goal in having a YouTube channel isn't to make money and to get rich. You know, I'm sure a lot of you know that my goal is to inspire others to get out there by sharing my adventures, my good attitude, and just showing that anyone can do it. A lot's changed in my life since I started making videos back in 2008. You know, I started as a college kid, just making some videos, and then now I'm a full-time firefighter in my hometown. I have a beautiful wife, two awesome little boys who are gonna grow up, hopefully to be just incredible paddlers. With my job, I am fortunate that it does allow me a certain amount of time off that is unlike regular jobs that allows me to create these videos and to go on these adventures for you guys. But that time off also means that I'm not earning quite what it takes to support a family. And you know, if you guys know any firefighters, you can probably think most of them have a second job. Well, I don't have a second job. This kind of is my second job. Well, I guess it's my second hobby. It's not really making the income of a normal job. <laughs> so life has kind of given me two options. I can continue to use my time off to create videos and to do this YouTube thing, or I can go out and I can get a second part-time job to help support my family. As much as I love creating videos and doing the YouTube thing, the reality is I'm a husband and a father first. Where will the money go? Well, proceeds from Patreon will go towards the things that are essential to make settling and such happen. There's a lot of expenses that go on behind the scenes that a lot of you probably don't think about. It's not just gonna go to pad my pocket for luxuries. Expenses like camera gear and replacing camera gear. My Olympus camera right now, the bottom tripod thread mount is stripped out, so I kinda need a new camera there. My Kodak camera, uh, the audio isn't quite what I wanted it to be, so you know I'm always swapping cameras or tearing up cameras or breaking cameras like I've done in the past. It takes fuel to travel to these destinations. New camping gear and replacing camping gear like on the trip I just got back from on the Swanee River, my paddle broke. It's actually sitting right over there and I need to order a new one because 
I'm going on a trip with my little boy on Friday, so uh, I'm just gonna have to use the broken one for a time being because I haven't ordered a new one. <laughs> or that time that I had my dry box cooler fall out of the back of my truck that was full of gear and electronics, uh, that was no good. <laughs> There's also expenses that I see in the future that are coming, like my laptop that I do all my editing on. It's about seven years old, and needless to say, it is showing its age performance wise. You know, whenever I came home from the Swanee trip, I had five hours and 44 minutes of footage, and when I put all that into my editing program, uh, my computer crashes every once in a while with that. The program says, uh, this program unexpectedly stopped working or stopped responding or something and it crashes. And, uh, you know, I spend many, many, many hours in front of that computer editing and whenever I'm editing and it crashes and I lose some progress, it's, uh, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough, let me just say. The reality is there's just a lot of behind the scenes expenses that it takes to make these things happen. If your current life circumstances don't allow you to support at this time, hey, I completely understand, no problem. I have some big, fun, crazy ideas in the back of my head that I would like to pull off, but I don't currently have the money or I'm not able to allocate the money this time to do those things, like uh, this hat is one of those ideas. It's just kind of something that popped in my head one day and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that will do it right there. But that, and I have a lot of other ideas, I promise you, you guys know how crazy I am. Well, there's a lot that goes on up here <laughs> that doesn't go on on here <laughs> that I want to get on here on the camera. So, um, you know, but I'm just not able to do it yet. Man, I would love to. Oh, it would be so incredible. <laughs> it would be so much fun, I promise you. You would enjoy it. I'm telling you. I'm not lying to you. If you would like to support Sailing and Such without the monthly Patreon thing, you can do that too. I've had some people ask about donations in the recent past. And I'm going to put a link below, a PayPal link, where you can do a one-time donation if that's what you would rather do. So, all in all, I hope you guys see that Patreon is something that could be fun and that could really be good for the channel and the audience as a whole. So, if you want to, go ahead and click that orange button and sign up to become a patron today.